Wow. Charlie. Charlie bit me. Charlie's the name of my chair. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on, I'm live, baby. Let's get let's get nice and warmed up for a nice little baby stream, you know. Mm, stretch my back. Really, I, yes, YouTube. I know. I know I'm live. Thank you for warning. Elden Ring. It's beautiful. Oh, ow. Let me just hear some of that beautiful soundtrack. Bling plong. Okay, I need to. There you go. God, that intro is so good, though. This intro soundtrack is mamma mia. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Elden Ring. Amazing. Sounds amazing. So, where was I? The round table hold. What's my... What's my stats looking at? Listen, I made a mistake. I didn't want to go to the messages. I never want to go to messages. I'll never speak with anyone. <gasps> I'm almost at 60 strength. Nice. That's my goal. Yes. Uh... So... I mean, all the way over. Oh, what's that? Oh, he's telling me that there's a place that I can I can go kill myself over there. All right. I'll consider it. Phantoms. You may occasionally see faint white phantoms. These are traces of players in other worlds and the actions they recently performed. <gasps> Joe, Burger Six going dark. Good to know. Good to know. You have you've activated my sleeper agent code. I must tell me the target that I must eliminate. Burger six going dark. Fucking hell, ad block ain't working no more. <gasps> I have managed to defeat your ads. Actually, I, I think I'm gonna take this. I need to more. I need to clean my glasses because. The chat is strategically placed where a huge grease smudge was on my glasses. Either that or I'm getting blind in one specific location. Can I now... Oh, that made it worse. Ah. PlayStation is McDonald's and Xbox is Burger King. Hmm. Hmm, that is, that is a wise assessment. Hi, says Alex. Ad is gone. Lake the Grease. McDonald's is PlayStation. Burger King is... Does this mean in Elden Ring, when I went to that place full of the Burger King mask dudes, was that uh, Xbox uh, office? Is that where Bill Gates lives? Was Sir Bill Gates, Sir Reginald Bill Ga Billis Gates, the leader of that of that McDonald's group I was in? I don't think neither of you guys know what the fuck I'm talking about, unless you've played Elden Ring. <laughs> ah, there you go. Now I can finally fucking see. You get me? No, no. Instead of jacking off his glasses, let's fucking go. <laughs> That's the content you boys have paid for. So if you don't know what I'm talking about. Let's see if I can uh, quickly uh, check it out. Yeah, probably over here is, is, is good. PlayStation is McDonald's because they are number one, and Xbox is Burger King because they're number two. Well, hold on a fucking minute right there, Mr. Joe. I'll accept any sort of ranking and opinions everywhere, except that one. That one is wrong. I might actually just do something over here. Nah, fuck it. I'm happy with my character. Sam, I suspect you're not far from hot for hot forearm lady. 
I'm, the, by the way you keep by the way you keep bringing her up I suspect that as soon as I find her you're gonna say you're gonna like bust a nut and leave forever like you've you've reached peak twitch you've you achieved exactly what you were looking for and you you have no more need of this platform I would never use Xbox and I would never eat a Burger King listen I would say that McDonald's and Burger King are both equal in quality Taz, can you calm down your tits? My cat's going crazy. So I have open map. I disagree. What? Like, McDonald's... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. That was my bad. I completely forgot about that guy. And this is not the way I wanted to go anyway. I'll be right... I'll open the map in a little bit. I just want to... I just want to show you guys... I just want to show you guys, uh... Lordus Mc... Lordus Burger Kingus. I killed him. Oh, that, that guy's just scared. This is the castle of Burger Kingus. The food of Burger King is barely eatable. No. Unless... Uh, Joe, you're from, like, Norway or whatever. Maybe Burger King doesn't age well in Norway. But here in Portugal... <gasps> See? You've offended the Burger King gods! <laughs> Their special attack, the headbutt! Damn. Are you okay? Have it your way! We are not inferior to McDonald's, if anything, we're an equal level! So, going to open the map. I open the map and I'm over here by the big tree. So I, did I, what did I miss? I would never use an Xbox and I would never eat at Burger King. Pfft, Joe, I haven't eaten at Burger King in seven years. So you know, that's your problem. Probably you, you've now learned to have a more sophisticated palate. She's in the south next to the big ass lake. Oh, this is a lake? No, this doesn't seem like a lake. This seems like a, a goddamn ocean. She's to the south, next to the big ass lake. Is this the big ass lake? I mean, unless uh, I don't have the whole map explored. Very south of the map, there she. That's that's east of the lake. I know, but like. But is this the lake? Is this the lake you're talking about? To the east of the lake, yeah. All right. So, it's about, like, what? It's like, what's about? It's like, in the red zone over here? Round the forest. Oh. It's just, it's just, she's around here somewhere. I guess I completely missed her. Oh, wait a second. I think I have seen her already. The green zone. <gasps> hey, we're going into the green zone. She's in the forest. I went through this forest and I didn't find anyone. All right, but I also haven't really explored really well, so let's let's go let's go take a look. Let's take a good old looksies. We're going on an adventure. Marika's tits. Hey, Link. It's morning for me, but good night to you. We're looking for a hot uh, four-armed lady. Apparently, uh, Alex has deduced that she's in the in the woods in the in the big woods next to the lake. So I'm going there. It is important to appease my viewers. They want to see Al. They want to see Al. They want to see hot armed ladies. Then we shall go visit them. Sir, I challenge you to horse combat. You lost. I think she might be somewhere. Oh wait, fuck. I think she might be somewhere else. Well, he had one fucking job and yet failed. Oh, oh shit. I trusted on you to give me directions just this one time. This one time, Alex. Probably not the best idea to jump down from here. Yeah, that's a that's just a place you gotta go to do her quest. Oh, wait a second, I just found time for some voice acting. Hey buddy. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, sapling. Sweet sapling of glorious gold. Has your crystal teardrop ripened? Why the fuck am I playing this game? Sorry, I just keep hitting the microphone. What the... F what does that even fucking mean? Let's go, let's go, let's analyze this, this, this bit of philosophical knowledge together. O oh, sapling, sweet sapling of glorious gold. Okay. Has your crystal teardrop ripened? Is he talking about the tree, I suppose? So what's the, okay, he's gotta be talking about the tree, he's looking at the tree. Okay, okay, I deduced, I deduced logic. Next to what looks like a big ass castle. She's she's to the northwest of the map. Oh, then I think I have been. I I know where she is. Then I know who that lady is. I've seen her already, and you missed her. Like the big ass castle is like around here. This is the castle, and she is on this. Was she on the Storm Hill Shack? I think like she was around here somewhere. I think she was here actually, but she's not there any anymore. Fuck. Nope. Wrong spot. Alex. Alex. The name of the location in the map is Rannis Tower. She's near a castle, just not that castle. Okay. So I have to, I have to search for Rannis Tower. Also, it might be possible that I've already seen her and I've already spoken with her. So, Sights of Grace. Let's see if I can find Rannis Tower. I don't think I have. I've been there actually. No, I haven't. Seems like I haven't been there. Nope, I haven't been there. If you zoom out, I can probably find her. Zoom out. This is what I've got so far. This is what I've explored so far. Guide me. Hey, Sev and Alex. How it's, how's it going? David, uh, all the way in the land of the YouTube. Hey, David. How you doing? We're doing just fine. I'm doing just fine. I won't, I won't speak on Alex's behalf. Alex is trying to guide me to find a, a hot, far-armed lady. But so far, I've just been going around in circles. She's by the sea. You're gonna have to be a bit more specific than that. Northwest, apparently. Uh, I probably don't. I don't think I've explored that yet. She's probably like across this coastline. Northwest, apparently. Zoom in in a bit. I suppose it's, I watched yesterday's VOD when you spoke about doing different types of streams. I'd have I've considered it. She's in the continent. I mean, this 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 isn't like a, an ocean. I think this is like a big ass swamp area. So I think like uh, here in this area that I haven't explored yet is where the rest of the continent continues. Why well, I just don't have the map for it. I agree with Alex. You should. You should give it a try on the main channel. Well, in that case, seems like the majority rules. Yeah, but I'm looking at the map she's in. Uh, I'm gonna need a bit more specifics. Like, uh, I'm looking at Bellum Church. From from Bellum Church, which is this little green spot here. Where is she? Is she like west, north, south, east? More often, I mean like that drawing stream. I like. It's considering how. Um, can't see Bellum Church. Like, if you look at the Blue Lake thing, there's this bridge that goes all the way up and it crosses this green patch 
on the green patch there is the Bellum Church. Or you can just look at the green patch and say, from this point, where is she? I agree with Alex. You should. Well, more often I mean like that drawing stream. I was about to say that since school started, my streaming during the week, the numbers have plummeted down. I'm looking at this at the still image. I can't give you directions. Oh well, I did my utmost best. But found it good. Um, as I was saying, David, during the week, my numbers have plummeted down because most of my viewership is basically in, on, in school or at work, north of Bellum. All right, so it's got to be this area that I haven't really explored. So let's go. Well, that means that I've considered, like, changing my hours a little bit because it really doesn't pay doesn't pay off to for me to stream during the week. So I might consider, like, doing more... Um, like doing other types of streams during the week and leaving the hardcore gaming sessions to to uh, to the weekend. Yeah, I saw that part, but what I mean is you can do varied stuff and attract different types of viewers. Usually that kind of annoys me, to be frank. It annoys me as in um, quite often when I when I like subscribe to a channel because of a certain type of content. I hate when that when that channel then uh, goes off and does other types of things that I don't subscribe it for. Like, sometimes it's not just about the personality, it's about the content that the personality makes. Hey guys, you guys good? Jesus Christ, you're just like my downstairs neighbors. Immediately they start throwing shit at me as soon as they see me. So it usually is better to segregate your entertainment to specific audiences. However, I have a very small audience, so it, I guess it doesn't really apply to me. Almost direct north. Northwest of Bellum, actually. N north, northwest. How do I... I want to try and see if I can go through there. Hmm. I'm using mental calculations. Hey, buddy. Time for my horse. Shit. Help. Horse. It's time for you to go Skyrim. Shit. No, too far. Too far, horse. Too far. Horse. 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 <laughs> uh, I gotta go shower real quick, so I'll be, be right back. Expect you to have fucked exactly 50 bitches by the time I'm back. Ooh, boy. See you, Alex. <gasps> David. David went all the way back to the land of Twitch. So down here again. Either way, what I was trying to say is uh, I do want to create different content, like do more artsy stuff. Like a stream where I'm just creating a board game or whatever. Or a stream where I'm writing. Or a stream where I'm um, drawing. But I do think I'm going to do that during the week. And probably I'm going to test it out on my main channel. And leave like the weekend for for hardcore gaming sessions. I don't think I'm going to be able to make this jump. This is a big ass jump. I ho silver! No, I fucked it. Wow, I did not expect to die. I did not expect to die from that fall. That was unexpected. But yeah... I know that, for example, on this next week, like each time during the week, I personally spend a lot of time on YouTube, so I would watch all kinds of channels. I would watch all kinds of channels, but sometimes, like, I follow specific viewers for specific channels for specific reasons. How to, like, for example, have you guys uh, ever watched that? Um, oh, fuck, uh, what's his name? Screenwriter. Th that. Uh, oh. Fuck, what's his name? Shit, I can't, I'm having a blank. It's the dude that does a uh, super easy, barely inconvenience. Screen Rants, I think is his name. Uh, this is the channel's name. Previously, let's see if I can find it. Because I, I keep forgetting, I, I keep forgetting the name of the dude. He is... 
Where is he? I know I'm subscribed to the bitch. There it is. No, no it's not. Oh yeah, the pitch meeting. The guy that does pitch meetings. I know what you mean. Yeah, the pitch meeting dude. And from Screen Rant. He did the... I love his pitch meetings. And I actually think he has. he's pretty good at reviewing uh, movies through that through that like joke that he does. Through that bit. But his, his pitch meetings was in a channel full of other shit I didn't give a damn about. So I never followed the channel because I only followed him, basically. As soon as he released a channel just for his pitch meetings, I followed that channel. So I, I don't like uh, sometimes, I don't like when the, the content gets too varied. Even for me personally, I don't like when my content gets too varied. Because I just feel like I'm, well, I'm, uh, I'm, it's going to be harder to build an audience that way. But again, I'm, my, my channel is so small that I can do it. I'm, I can afford to do it. Where's my little runes? So you wanted to turn this into a gaming channel with only gaming stuff? Not necessarily, but I also... But there is a discrepancy between gaming and arts. Like, the same way there's a discrepancy between gaming and, and football, which is the example I gave yesterday. Like, I'm a huge fan of football, but I know that if I if I spend a lot of time, like, if, imagine if this channel suddenly had a lot of soccer games in it, or a lot of reviews, or a lot of uh, punditry. Do you think you would keep watching it? Like, you, you need to have, you need to follow, um, you need to follow content that synergizes with one another. And I do think art synergizes with gaming, uh, but I do need to find a, a way that to do that that doesn't uh, that is interesting. I also think that board games are particularly fun. This guy is tough. Where to go, buddy? I mean, it's not going well for you, but you took at least like six, seven hits before you went down. Where to go? I don't understand football enough to participate in conversations, but I like to listen to you guys discuss it. I don't know. I think like if you're not, if you're not like in the ballpark of of the topic, like for example, you know about gaming, you know about Dark Souls, Elden Ring, and uh, Severance. So you don't feel left out. You might not participate in the conversation, but you will at least understand it. And then the, my personality can fill in the blanks. Like, oh, I like I like the content. I understand the subject matter, but I also like this guy speaking about it. I think he's he's entertaining for whatever reason. But if you if one of those if you take one of those out, if the person isn't entertaining, if you don't understand the subject matter, or it's just simply uh, uninteresting, then immediately ah uh, you know what fuck it I uh, I'll see I'll just go see another viewer who is. And I don't want that. I don't. I don't ever want to do that. But it, yeah. But again, my caveat is my audience is basically non-existent. I have currently like three viewers watching me right now, and that is. Have I been here before? Am I being chased by an enemy? Yes, I am. I have such a small audience that I can really branch off to do anything I want to. And I think I'm going to do it during the week because uh, my my viewership during the week is almost next to nil. <laughs> oh, so I have not been here before. This goes back to the... Yeah, okay. <gasps> yes, the map! I was looking for this shit. Alright, that's where I want to go. Yep, fuck. That's not what... No, fuck! Take me to... Damn it. I like to drop in from time to time to see what you guys are up to. Like, it inspires me to try, try it myself when I'm not too busy. What? what To try what? Streaming? What are you talking about? Or just uh, being more social? Because that's another element that I think is important. For example, I don't think that my... That you should look onto me and say, I, I want to stream because it seems like fun. Because the way he does it, is, it seems, seems cool. Even though that is a huge compliment to give me, by the way. 
but I would rather people look at my personality and feel like, he seems like a social dude, and I am. You can put me in any sort of environment, and I will pretty much make friends. And that's what I, like, this, this ease of conversation is what I want people to take out from my, from my channel more than anything else, really. There's a lot of socially awkward people out there, or people that are a bit, a bit self-conscious about speaking, or that to, seem silly, or to say the wrong things. I am here to say, you can, you can be a silly lunatic just like me. And probably, you'll make a lot of friends that way. To be genuine, and to, um, you know, just to, just to, to just be shameless, really. Uh, sorry, I'm not clear. No, but you show me what to not do if I try every one day. <laughs> that is almost an insult. <laughs> Looking at you, I've learned everything that I'm never gonna do. As soon as, you, as soon as I look at your stream, I realized, Ooh, baby, I'm not gonna get anywhere near what this guy's doing because that is just wrong. Sev Deluxe Life Hacks. I don't know if it's a life hack. I'm not exactly living the... I'm not, I don't think my life is that amazing that people should aspire to be like me. But I do think that one thing that I am good at is just speaking with an audience. I think. If I, I might be speaking out my ass. Maybe I'm overconfident. But I do think like one of my main attributes is that I can pretty much like speak with anyone. I have no issues with it. I can strike up a conversation pronto, no problem. I'm a charismatic motherfucker. I have at least a foreign persuasion. At least. Yay, I've unlocked this part of the map. Okay, so Alex said that the bitch was from here, almost early north, northwest. Okay, check. Now let's say, let's suppose that she is... Let's just say that she's over here somewhere. Now yeah, let's go. The King's Realm Ruins. Ooh. I've already reached it. Ah! Ghosts! Bad aiming ghosts! Ghosts that are blind! You do it like Josh Strife Hayes. You make gaming streams that are about conversation and jokes while gameplay is in the background. That is my intent intention. That is exactly my intention. In podcasts, how does a podcast work? Usually a podcast works well when uh, there's two people like uh, going back and forth and usually it is one person with the knowledge and another person that directs the conversation um, it doesn't necessarily need to be that way but usually yeah it's it is one person who is an entertainer and one person who is a uh, subject of interest my gaming streams I, I treat my games as the subject of interest and me as the entertainer where I'm uh, the game is just a platform for me to for, for me to have a conversation topic, for me to just, you know, to keep, ha to keep having material to, to, uh, to speak out of, to speak about. Okay, you know what? Motherfucking Harry Potter over here needs to... Show yourself, coward! Get away from the bushes! I see you! I see you over there! The new Assassin's Creed looks good. <laughs> yes, Assassin's Creed, big hor big big sword. I've I've stopped at Assassin's bullshit. I've just become Barbarian's Creed. Oh. You know what? Good. People should read more books in this world. Hey, buddy, you enjoying your literature? As, as a sin. Well done. What brings you here? I mean, I was looking for a far-armed hot babe. Also, how are you reading if you, ha you have a helmet on that seems to be pretty gosh darn opaque? 
I suppose that you're reading through the little holes of between those little plates, but that's gotta be I guess that's gotta make for an uncomfortable read since there's, they're always shifting out of sight. So basically, it's kind of like trying to read while someone keeps doing this. Cause stop it! But why not just take off the helmet? What are you doing? I guess you should read more because you're clearly an idiot. Are you a smith? Nice sword, by the way. <gasps> you made my sword! Sanest Elden Ring character. I can see! He is the one who made my sword. My sword is a little bit busted. That one looks fresh new. Do you mind if I swap? Buddy? Buddy? What, what you reading? Buddy? What you reading? I'm blind! I need glasses! Gosh, man. Fuck. He's just reading smudges. What the fuck are you reading? Braille? Oh, pardon me. It's hardly my place to ask, is it? <laughs> you don't have enough points in to understand. That makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. That applies to real life. If you're not intelligent, if you're not intelligent enough in real life, looking at any uh, book, you just see smudges. I don't get it. What, what sort of knowledge can people impart from this? Strength and armament. Can I buy shit from you? <gasps> I can. How much do I need? I need smithing stone three. Give me, give me all you got. I'm poor. I'm immediately poor. Shit, son. God damn. Okay, so um, I want more though. I'm willing to w spend all my life earnings on this shit. I want to upgrade my sword, and I'm gonna do it. I don't care who many people I have to kill. Give me, give me, give me my, give me my big sword. I want a big sword. Yes. More power. Unlimited power. There you go. That should be an. I need. I need more. I'll use all of it. Six thousand isn't enough. I need more. Give me all of it. Nine thousand? Bullshit. Ten thousand? Eleven thousand? There you go. Thirty-four thousand. I should be able to do something with this. Give me... I don't even know how many I have anymore. How many do I have? I have number held five, so I just need one more. Give me one more. Thank you. Strength and armaments. What? It says I only have one. Did I, was I buying the wrong one? No, this is a three. I haven't... Oh, it's a somber smithing stone. <laughs> Give me back my money, you bitch! I just need a smithing stone, not a somber one. Sorry, I didn't realize my, my fucking rock was sad. What the fuck? No refunds. <laughs> I just need a smithing stone, not the one that watches, that tries to cosplay as Jon Snow. Fuck me. Now, please take care. You charlatan! Uh, I can be angry at him. Son of a bitch. Smithing Master EG. Alright, go back to your stupid uh, blotch stains. Gosh damn it. What the fuck? Ah! Who does that? Help! God is angry! Save me! I don't know where it's coming from. Ah! 
Ah! Is it coming from the tree? Help! Help! It chases me! It's, it is taking down trees and everything. I'm safe! So you can't see me over here. Time for stealth! Na 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 na. No, he immediately saw me. Apparently hiding with a giant sword on my back isn't doesn't do fuck all. I have a feeling it's coming from... I can't really tell where it's coming from. Ow. He got me again. What the fuck is going on? Can I? Is there a little man over here, or is it just... No, it's just a tree trunk. Alright, let's do this. He's gotta be over here somewhere. Ow. Dodge, bitch! I made it all the way inside! I'm coming after your punk ass! Lost Grace discovered! Well, I guess since I... Can I level up? Well, at least that. More strength, baby! All the way to the top. You know it. Never stop giving me strength. Carry a mana. So, where am I? Okay, in this place there was a big, big dumb loser, big dumb nerd loser who kept shooting shit at me. Statues, do you know where I'm? Be wary of ill-omened creature. Am I? Is, am I the ill-omened creature? Is it me? Am I the bad guy? Oh. You see, that's just wrong. Ow! <laughs> um... Um... It's the thing- it's- it's the thing from the Adams fa Shit, fuck me! Can you like- ah! Save me! Good thing I leveled up! Back off! God, these things really just stagger the shit out of you. It's like face huggers. No, I know what I've seen the movie. I know what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to impregnate impregnate me with aliens. I didn't realize they grew so big. Ow. That's it. I'm angry. Come here. Spooky, huh? Um, yeah, it was a somber smithing stone. Like, fuck me, man! I don't want somber smithing stones. I, want, I just want regular smithing stones. Level three. Fuck me! I even rhymed. Come here, you, you weird creature from the Adams family. You mutated version of it. Stop it! Fuck me. Did I saw a big boy? Yeah, I saw a big boy. Big boy, I'm... I'm about to hurt you now. Oop, no I'm not. You missed. You know, for such a big boy, you're awfully nimble. So, um... Let's fight! I was kind of hoping- I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hoping that I would stagger him. Still alive, though. Ow! Help! Run! Tukaram! Run! He can't climb! Which is odd, considering he's just a big hand. You missed! Also, who paints your nails? 
They're gorgeous! You see those blues? Way to go! Just because you're a big hand monster doesn't mean you can't look presentable. Also those rings? Nice. Uh, I'm back. Get your dick wet yet? No, but I found I've found a lot of hands, and I've apparently I, 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 ri I rimmed a crystal bud. Don't ask me how. I just did. Welcome back, Alex. So I've unlocked this side of the map. I've I found it, and I've realized that from the Bellum Church, you said it was directly north. So I was kind of checking out the Korea Manor. I mean, she has four of them. So, okay, so she's to the west of that big square castle you're in. To the west. She's somewhere over there. Where I was being hit by a ton of magical assholes. I do think I need to go through... It seems like for me to go on this plateau, because this is a mountain plateau, I think I need... Is this a little path? It might be. Yeah, but it seems like for me to reach this mountain plateau, I need to go through this area probably. So I'm going to give this area a little try. Direct west of the manor. Okay. Hey buddy. How you doing? You need some help? You want a hug? Uh, mm. that, that was your mistake, you see. Glimstone Firefly. What happened to your friend? <gasps> Glips, Glimstone's Craftsman's Cookbook. Nice, I can now make arepas. Armor map reading skills paying off for this one moment. Yeah, I think I'll have to go through this area. It seems like I have to go up here and then I should be able to go west. Hey, buddy. I see you moving. Ow! Ow! That actually hurts, you, you stupid nerd. Also, when I hit him, I see a, a white splash of... Let's not think about it. It's probably nothing. No, no. Hey, Joel, how you doing? It's not It's not that, Alex. No. Ah! Okay, that is a slow-ass trap. I activated his trap card, but I wasn't afraid, of, afraid at all of it. Somber smithing stone. God damn it. Why does it need to be so somber? Could this be a ladder? No. What are you, an idiot? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing just well. I was having a conversation with my good friend David about uh, what, type, what type of content I should make during the week. Like, it turns out during the week... My viewership numbers just plummet because most of my viewers are in school, or an uh, equivalent of that. Ranged battle hat. Ah! So I'm considering doing more artsy stuff during the week. And maybe even, like, stream one day less. Did you just give me the finger? Like, literally? Back! Off! You weird... M shit. He literally just gave me the finger. Everyone saw it. Elden Ring is rude. Uh, but I want to see the art. I'll probably do... I don't know. I'll, I, I've considered doing two things. Three things, actually. Another art scene where I just draw. Uh, a writing stream where we like collaborate and try and make a story together. Or a board game... Hands from the f from the dirt or a board game stream where I'm trying when I'm creating it my own board game and uh, doing the art for it. All things that I presume are relatively boring for the type of viewers that are used to watching uh, Twitch gaming streams, but for the sophisticated man, it'll probably be pretty cool. Damn it! I want to see a live in Portuguese. That I'm afraid I will not do. May ah, will I not? If I'm gonna do a Portuguese stream, I'm definitely gonna lose audience. I might do it. Oh God. In that case, I would do another channel. Vlogging Sev. 
Another somber stone. So somber. Hey, buddy. Ice Crest Shield. How the fuck do I get... Fuck yeah, I get to make all the Portuguese inside jokes. No, no, Alex, because they're still inside jokes. I see a little... I see you you getting your... Uh, what's it called in English? Var varnish? I don't know. He got me! He's eating me alive! And he spit me out. I'm in trouble. Help! Save me! Run! Run! Run and kill this thing! Good job! Is it still after me? But you're going to get an audience that's Portuguese. I, I don't think uh, I, I'd have that big of a Portuguese audience. I just think I'd be starting from scratch in Portuguese. Oh, I'm back here. Also, my dad told me a story about one time he was in Emadore. He almost got robbed. There's not that many of those, my man. No, I, what I mean is, I would still need to create, uh, like, from scratch. Like, all the work I did to create an English stream, I'd have to do the same for a Portuguese stream to, to find an audience. I don't know English, and I got here on the channel. Well... I should say that English is pretty much the default language. Alright, I'm not having exactly a, an easy time going through this gosh darn place. Mm, I do think I have to go like through there. And there's got to be some sort of way up. Yeah, I know there's not many Portuguese speaking running around on Twitch. Uh, if this wasn't on English, I couldn't participate as much. You and everyone else just make live from another game. Uh, I'm not gonna be making a Portuguese channel. I'm just gonna put that out there. It's just, uh, I'd just be confusing the audience. I'm gonna stick to one thing. Just even changing from, like, uh, gaming to art is already, uh, let's just say, risky. I wouldn't do, I wouldn't change language. There's gotta be a way up the mountain. Have I found it? No. Damn it. This is just a glitch. I thought this was a way up. Usually they flock to the big channels, so to make it a small Portuguese channel is really hard. Just making it just making any channel is really hard. But yes, you're right, Alex. Uh like making it Portuguese. Oh! I thought that was a golden rune. Shut up, rat! Just making any channel is hard, and now switching to Portuguese would just be suicide, in my opinion. And I'm not, I wouldn't be that entertaining. I'd just be alienating audiences. Has anyone noticed how advanced YouTube AI transition is, uh, translation is getting? I have. But they're using that sort of bot... I think they learned that from, like, TikTok and shit, right? Because the TikTok bots where they, they translate you live is actually really fucking impressive as well. That's some good technology working there. I still have a dream of watching a live, a live, like my stream in Portuguese. That's not going to happen. But there are streams like even in Brazil. That there's a bajillion Brazilian streamers. I assume it wouldn't be that hard to find one. And Brazil actually has really good, uh, like a, a good, a good media presence. So I suppose you you guys would uh, like would be a pretty a pretty well produced channel. Uh, if this dream is going to come true, I don't know. Uh, the... Yeah, I thought this was a path up, but apparently not. Okay, back into the weird hand place. There's a lot of people who talk Portuguese. I mean, in the world? Yes. Dodge, bitch. Dodge, bitch.
Easy. Gonna rest again. I have a lot of people who talk Portuguese on lives. See? Then you don't need me. Why do you want me to become more like them? Alright, let's do this shit. I, I'm i on the quest of finding the hot four-armed lady. Well, boys, I have good news for those who wish me dead. Go on. It's strange I am speaking Portuguese all by myself. Well, I'll translate always. And uh, Alex also understands you. Big hit. What's that weapon? Hey, Rossi, how you doing on on the land of the YouTube? This is the the great sword. Uh, is it just called the great sword? I'm not sure actually. This is called the heavy great sword. And I have a little bonus where I made it into a rock kebab using uh, an ash of war. Can I? Can I like? Uh, I don't think I can actually show you. I have the skill Crag Blade, which is an Ash of War that I found. Why is it muddy? It's the Crag Blade ability. It's an Ash of War ability that you can find in... Gosh, I'm horrible with names, Mr. Rossi. I found it over here in Kaelid. After... Not, not even after. Is it after? Yeah, it is after the dragon. You see this? The Impassable Great Bridge? Over here, there's apparently a, a cliff with swords on the floor. And if you go there, you'll find an item, which is the Ash of War Crag Blade, which allows you to do this. You shove your sword into the mud, and it gets all turd-like. Now I have a turd sword. Google can help me understand, heck yeah. Oh wait, Alex! I'm getting confused because Alex says he has Corona, he has COVID. Sucks for you, Alex. And now my girlfriend is like, Walking around me. She's walking around like she's fucking Sherlock Holmes. Do you are you trying to discover? It? Oh god, and I'm trying to fight hands at the same time. Okay, this didn't go well. Some, what can I help you, peeps? What's going on? Bye bye. What are you doing? You little goblin. Uh, uh, you're welcome, Rossi. And it is pretty gosh darn strong weapon. I like it. Let me just go back. I was in contact with my aunt yesterday and told me, and today she tested positive for the COVID. Oh, so you don't have COVID yet or you don't have it confirmed, but you think you might. He's getting overstimulated. He's mildly autistic. Mildly? No, I'm perfectly autistic. Uh, it's so, f yeah, yeah, it'll probably be fine, Alex. And also, um, just because you got near your your aunt with COVID doesn't necessarily mean you'll get COVID. There's so many cases where, dude, get down from there. I can see you. Dude, I can see you right there. I know you're just letting your nail polish dry, but you can come down. Come on. Dude, get down from there. Nice. Soft as a mother's kiss. What was I saying? Yeah, just because you get in contact with someone with COVID, yeah, there's, there are a lot of stories where it turns out you basically can French kiss COVID, uh, you can lick a toilet seat that has COVID and you'll be fine. First playthrough of Elden Ring? Yes. But I'm not a novice to the Dark Souls franchise. I'm as answering Rossi all the way in the lands of YouTube! Oh boy. Listen, calm down. Calm down, Mr. Hand. Mr. Hand! Back! Back, I say! Oh god, I shoved my sword into its little hand hole. That feel like it was... That felt violating. God, each time I play this game, I genuinely do feel like I'm the bad guy. It, like I was saying, Mr. Rossi, on the lands of YouTube, I, it is my first playthrough of Elden Ring. However, I have played like all of the FromSoft games, minus Demon Souls. Because I don't have a PlayStation. I've managed to play Bloodborne because I borrowed a PlayStation. Oh god, I have no idea, but I had a nasty flu a month ago. Mr. Hand, Mr. Hand, don't flick me away like I'm a waiter at a bar. 
Bad hand! Oh, he's still alive. Still alive! He wants vengeance! Oh, he's dead. Bloodburn. Yes, I've played Bloodburn. Um, I have no idea, but I had a nasty flu a month ago or so ago, and uh, and weirdest thing is my mom never got even slightly sick. Yeah, that shit happens all the time. Uh, also, it has to do with well, just your immune system being strong or not at, at a given moment in, in a year. Uh, about a month or two later, I felt like shit. Uh, I've had COVID once and was perfectly fine. About a month or two later, I felt like shit. Like all the COVID symptoms were delayed and hit me all at once. That, that's the first time I hear of that. Oh, good. Oh, God, Sav doesn't know who Mr. Hands is. That name, I actually, that name is familiar, but I can't place it. Isn't he like a horrible, uh, isn't like Harvey Weinstein sort of character? Did you buy a PlayStation? No, I played Bloodborne when my brother uh, borrowed me his PlayStation. He has Bloodborne, but I had to speed rush it basically. My, essentially, my brother went on vacation and he left a, the PlayStation with me. I can see you, Mr. Hansies. And during like the week where he was off, I, uh, I played Red Dead Redemption 2 and uh, Bloodborne. I also played God of War. That's when I played all those three games. I just rushed them in one week. Where am I going? Good. I'm going the right way. Mr. Hands is a guy that recorded himself getting ass fucked by a horse. That's it. I remember that. And died on the horse penis. Good old internet. I had forgotten about that 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 bit of internet lore, that bit of internet history. Thank you for reminding me. Back off. Red Dead Redemption 2, I've... Uh, Dead Re uh, Mr. Joel is saying that he reached the, the end of Red Dead Redemption 2, but he didn't finish it. Uh, if I have like five hours in a day, I'll finish it today. Well, go ahead. I am of the opinion that Red Dead Redemption is... It's more about the journey than the actual... It's more about the journey than the destination. It's a game that's... Like, I have no... I have no... Interest in playing the game again. I played it once, I had fun, I just enjoy going around on the horsey. And being in that wild west atmosphere. But the story is... The story is on loop. You go through the same story beats every, like, chapter of the game. We're running from the law. We need enough money so we can escape. Oh, we lost all our money. Now the law is right on, on our tail. Next chapter. We're running from the law and we need money to get away from, the, from, from all of this. I've got this plan to get money. Oh, it went wrong. Now the law is on our tail. Next chapter. The law is on our tail. We need money to get off of it. Oh, God, the game just repeats itself four, five, six times. Don't give me the finger. Yes, son of a bitch. I'll give you the finger. And stop having sex with horses. It, don't you know how dangerous it is? Okay, you know what, sir? Sir? Your little friend. Don't you dare! I hate when you dismiss me that way. I'm not... a trophy wife that you can just chew away. We need to get married first. The journey... The journey gave the destination its meaning. Yeah. It's about seeing the cult-like scenario everyone is in blindly following Dutch. Yeah, and to be frank, I did say that the plot was annoying because it just repeated itself. But gosh darn, every single one of those gruff characters were amazing. You could spend hours just hearing them talk. They were so, I wouldn't say flat, well fleshed out, but they were so charismatic at least. Like Dutch was a, was a charm, Arthur was a charm, I liked John as well, like all of them were so cool. Even that old, that crazy old fat man. Hmm. Is the weapon a large corn dog? Ponty? Yes. I hate those hand monsters, says Rossi on YouTube. I'm not having a great time with them. Is this a trap? No. I have a plan. I just need money. It's Dutch. Yeah, pretty much. That's the whole... He just summarized uh, 80 hours of gameplay. 
<gasps> time for some, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, time for some voice acting. I'm trying to get a gig on, on the next GTA 6 or whatever. <clears throat> Ellipsis. Lady Rani, we have long awaited you. I pray for your house's swift revival. May the full moon shine upon Karia. So, you looked at me and you saw a lady. These ghosts are completely fucked on... They have... Hmm, they're just on loop, aren't they? They're just like one of those tape recorders that, that go around on loop. That's some top-tier voice acting. Thank you, Mr. Ponty. Thank you. That is a great compliment for me. I have a plan. I just need money. Dutch, 1899. <laughs> yeah. I keep shit-talking Red Dead Redemption. I also say that the gameplay is... You, like, you can, you can finish the game with a starting gun. It changes fucking nothing. It doesn't make the game easier or harder. However, it's just fun to... To be in the Wild West. Oh. Smithing stone number four. I need smithing stones number three! Like a... Uh, like a number, number three pencil. Ah, fine. Ah. What the fuck? There's a dude chilling under the table. What? Dude. It's Sundays. Have you never been to church on a Sunday? The things get wild. Sometimes a priest just needs to chill under the table, under the diaz or whatever it's called. Man, I sure am hungry. Ah, typical Alex. Alex circa 2022. Join the stream, go take a bath, go take a shit, and then say he's hungry. Wonder what's for lunch. Lost my mod powers for a sec there. Hmm, that's interesting. I bet he's just smoking some devil's grass. Oh, dude, speaking of devil. Yesterday I watched... Like, I'm doing, like, a, a Halloween... Hey, buddies, how you guys doing? Oh, you got smacked on the face, boy. And you missed your crossbow. Yesterday, we decided to make a, a Halloween uh, monster flick r run. A wild peep appears. <laughs> oh, hey there, Mr. Knight. Like, uh, we decided to make a... I decided mostly, and people said, you know what, fine, sure, whatever. Whatever you want to do, I don't give a shit. It was her reaction. But I decided to make a Halloween monster movie run, and yesterday we watched Bran Stoker's Dracula. And that movie is from 1992, it's from Francis Ford Coppola. And it's a weird movie. It is weird, but it is a gorgeous movie. And if you told me that, that uh, Dark Souls is inspired by that movie, I'd totally believe it. It's It has weird-ass monsters, amazing set designs. Uh, it has quite good horror, to be honest. It has hot babes. I recommend it. I recommend it not for the story, because the story and the acting is weird. But, uh... I had fun. I had fun with it. It's a very horny Dracula movie. Also, you have Anthony Hopkins uh, shouting at women, saying... Uh, what? Horrors of hell! And I'm just dying to use that sentence more often. Just walking up to someone and say, You whores of hell! Uh, you know, I'm seeing this game and it, and it looks like a more polished Demon Souls. I never pl Ah! Be free! Demon Souls. I, I've never played Demon Souls. All I know is that people can say that it's a game where the levels are the bosses, basically. Try jumping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I don't want to. I do not wish to jump. I'll be back later, probably. Visually, I mean. I mean, visually... It <clears throat> visually, I think it looks pretty much like... Like a more colorful Dark Souls. This one has more of the greens and the golds and the... Uh, more blues. It's more... It doesn't feel as dark. However, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's... Uh, it's that vastly different stylistically from the previous games. 
It's all pretty much debris and 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 decrepitude. Yeah, horrors of hell. Oh, another touch of grace. How many souls? Do, how many? Sorry, runes do I have? I can't see. I have a fucking oh, not enough. I'm just experienced live. I've, I'm just experiencing live spoil as I watch the stream while he's screaming whores of hell. <laughs> have you ever played Elden Ring, Mr... I suppose not. If you're saying that you're experiencing spoilers, Mr. Ponty. Wolf! Ow! Bad dog! No! Well, I'm gonna have to punish you. Gosh. Sev, should I do a, a level level up run up or not? Sorry, let me. I'm gonna try and read that again. Should I do a, a no level run up? Sorry, fuck me. I can't fucking read sometimes. I'm sorry. Sev, should I do a no level run up? Oh fucking yeah. Should I do a no level up run or a no level up run but stamina is allowed? Shit, dude. That is one. That, both those seem insane. Should I do a no level up run or a no level up run but stamina is allowed? I suppose that the first one is super hard. Let's start with the no level up but stamina is allowed. You're allowed to have some stamina. Good job, Sav. Thank you. Uh, hey, it's Sif. Want to upgrade the, the rig first? Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Rossi. Shh, be very quiet. Wolves are notoriously horrible at detecting any, any anything near them. They ha don't have a sense of smell or good hearing. These wolves are deaf and uh, they have COVID. Be free! Fly! Be free! Oh, no. Apparently, it turns out these wolves do share the the dog's problem of, of not being able to tolerate uh, tall jumps. But he didn't do anything. And he's never gonna have a chance to do anything either. Get fucked, wolf! The Zable's wolf, they should get a privileged parking spot. <laughs> Dude, that wolf... They're gonna need to scrape it off a parking, uh, parking spot. You're so mean, says Alex. Mr. Rossi, on, on the lands of YouTube, are you, like, you speak as if you're about to do a speedrun of the game. Are you one of them fabled speedrunners that I've heard so much about? And I'm not mean, Alex. Everything in this game is trying to kill me or sodomize me. Sometimes in that order. Um, oh. Sir Giant! With a bunch of Burger King boys. Not... not that world. I'm a speedrunner, Sev. You do not acknowledge me? A pro? You're a speedrunner, Ponty? Damn. You guys are the real deal. Ah, oh, fuck. A little tiny gap. I always get defeated by gosh darn platforming. Ha! Hell no. Got him. <laughs> you got me again, Ponty, with your quick wits and... and, you no know, pulls of the rug. First you say you are, and I believe you, and then you say you're not, and I'm like, ah, I'm the true fool. <laughs> I saw the big giant dude and his... No, not a speed run. I'm doing uh, an all-boss run, but I don't want to be overpowered. You're doing an all-boss run of this game. Are you going to do, like... When you say all-boss run, I suppose you mean, like, all 160-plus bosses this game has. Like, all the mini dungeons and shit. Oh, boy. Rossi... You're the type of you're you're dedicated to the cause. You're a true gamer with a capital G. Oh fuck, he did say yeah. Oh my god. Everyone a small round of applause for Rossi. He's gonna dedicate his whole life to killing all the monsters, all the bosses in, in Elden Ring. Benny? Benny? Show this man a round of applause. Give him a strong meow. He just closed his eyes. He's not impressed. He does not give a shit, uh, Rossi. I'm sorry, my cat is very hard to please. Miyazaki would be proud. He would. Oh, there you go. Benny's just... Benny's getting some nice belly rubs. He's such a fat cat. He's so fat. Like, if you if you rub his belly, it just jiggles around like he's made out of jello. 
Oh, here he comes. Chunky belly, chunky belly, chunky belly. He doesn't give a fuck. I'm I'm not entirely uncertain that he's that he's just a teddy bear. Look at him. Look at him. Chunky belly. And since he has his li since he had his liver problem, his fur has grown back on his belly. He's got fur again. Well done, Danny. He just he's the most chillest little uh, little's not the correct word. He's just a chill fat so heavy. All right. <laughs> probably yeah, you probably need to put him uh, put him down. Put him down to s forever. All right, then he <laughs> then he chases after peeps because he liked the cuddles. He's such a cuddle monster. For people who are interested, oh, hello sir. For the people who are interested in uh in some Benny emotes. Shut up. I have Benny sleeping emotes. That's right. I know what my audience wants. Now, let me see. Ooh, I can backstab the giant. Don't mind if I do. Gosh damn right, Viderval. I'm going Assassin's Creed on this bitch. <gasps> Burger King boy! Nice sword. But it's made out of intelligence. So your sword is actually kind of pathetic. Get fucked, you nerd. In this house, we only respect strength. See, because of his high intelligence, he thinks, "Oh, my friend went up and didn't come back. Come, didn't come back down. Obviously, there something is wrong, and I must go help him." You should have stayed down there. It was safer for you. Time for Mortal Kombat. Ah! Plunge attack, bitch! I missed every attack. I don't know what you're doing. Ow. Oh, you're a bit of a clumsy boy, aren't you? I'm just gonna keep hitting you. Hit him on the taint! Oh, what are, what are you doing? His most vulnerable point, the taint. First try. Give me your item. Troll Knight Sword. I have to admit, I'm you have got my attention. It has horrible scaling, but it is a colossal sword. Ah, oh, but it has intelligence. <laughs> Gosh. No, I don't want to use it. I don't want to use it efficiently. No, I never touched it. No one can say that I did. I want to... Can I can I drop it? How can I drop it? I don't want this sword in my inventory. It, it, it offends me. I refuse to keep it. This shit? Discard it! Just throw it away! Why? <laughs> Says Rossi. Because my character You're new here, Rossi, so I'll explain. My character strength only. I'm going strength first all the way up to 66, then I might consider vigor. That's all I need. It's worked me well in the past. It's worked well in the past. That's how I defeated Oh, hello there. I didn't realize you were I didn't realize you were just chilling over there, Mr. Burger King. So People say that I should use other spells, that I should use summons, that I should use faith, or, or, or all that nonsense, all that shit, all that bollocks. You need one thing in every Dark Souls, in every Bloodborne, in every Sekiro. Sekiro doesn't even have it, but if it did, I'd, I'd do it as well. Strength. Just level up strength until you can, you can smash enemies as if they were flies. You could have sold it at least. No! I, I'm not. I'm not gonna be smirch my inventory with intelligence items. In fact, you know what? Where's that other bullshit? The Burger King masks. Uh, increases intelligence. Oh yeah. Does it do it on the floor? What is? Increases intelligence and strength. Sorry, floor. What do you do? Increases intelligence to the detriment of HP. Boo! Discord! What do you do? 
Mm. Evidence. Mm. Strengthens golden order incantations. But it increases strength too. But it is tainted. It's tainted strength. Do you wish... Do, uh, Mr. Rossi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This I cannot. I cannot. You do not... You do, you do not increase strength or the detriment of, of, of intelligence. You do not want intelligence to be the reason why you're stronger. No! Pure manly strength only. What do you do? The great horned headband. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, increases mind. No! Trash! Discard it! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very good. Slowly replenishes HP. It's fine. Yes. Okay, good. I'm pure now. I'm pure of my sins. If the item grows chest beard, <laughs> would you discard it? No. In that case, I, I would keep it. I, I would keep it and wear it. I would be proud of it. Golden runes. Hello, friend. Shh, be very quiet. Oh. Assassins! Whoa, this motherfucker lived! Oh, not for long, though. You guys are stronger than you look. You look like a, a poorly dressed sack of potatoes, but you know what? They took a few hits. The pure tarnished. The item... <laughs> wonderful. The only thing I care about is strength. I've said it before and, I, and people just don't believe me when I say it. This is gonna be an all-strength build. I'm gonna finish the game using nothing but strength. The strength and the vigor of my powerfully erect peni. What? It's natural. <laughs> what about dex? I increased dex only enough so that I can wield my big sword. That's all. So dex, I, I, it's, a, it's, a, it's a necessary evil. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. People just want to... You know what? That is gorgeous. Damn it. A nerd that does magic? I will show you the, the right way! Alright, Loretta. Ow. You missed, you bitch! Let us fight in Mortal Kombat! You missed! But I did not. Ow! Don't not throw little sissy daggers at me. Did you know that my thick chest hair will just bounce them right off? Ow! I don't know what you're doing. More little daggers? Shit, that nearly killed me, actually. She got me. Damn it. Increased dex. It is tainted. <laughs> Damn. Grey Rat had such a swole lover. Oh, right. You're, you're right. That is Loretta. Fuck. Shit. You know what? Way to go, Grey Rat. He was punching way above his weight, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying, don't you, Pony? You know what I'm saying. Damn. I guess they call him Grey Rat because he liked to go uh, spelunking in them tunnels, if you know what I mean. If you, you know what I mean? Yeah, good for him. Yeah, he knows what I mean. Girl, I'm going to hurt you. You hurt me more. Your daggers do nothing! Ah, oh, shit. Oh, I forgot to pick up my souls. My runes, I'm sorry. Runes, come to me. Come to me, runes. I didn't pick up. Ow. You missed. I did not. Okay, let's, let's treat this, this Loretta with respect. It's what Grey Rat would have wanted. This just makes me think that someone in the FromSoft Studios is a f has a wife called Loretta or something. Shit! Ah, he dodged. 
You missed, you bitch. So did I. Shut up. I cannot stagger this bitch. Oh, he got she got me. She got me good. Let's be honest. That was a kick. That was a kicker. Cool. Girl, I mean girl, stop it. You're, you're putting up a scene. Pathetic daggers. You think those scare to Karam? Fuck me. Shit! You missed. You missed again. Ow. Ow. Shit, I might be in trouble. Okay, I'm fine. You missed. And then, now you die. Ow. Ow. Second try, save ya bitch. Loretta's great bow. GG's. Ash of War, Loretta's Slash. Hmm, that sounds like a euphemism for something else. Ugh, good for him. One of Miyazaki's fetish for the name Loretta, maybe. Yeah, it does seem that way, right? I still think that like there's someone in the development of the Miyazaki team from FromSoft that uh, probably has a wife named Loretta or something. Damn it, I'm so close to leveling up. Therefore, let's get them. Let's use them runes. My strength isn't going to increase itself. I don't think that's enough. Maybe one more of these. Thank you. Are bows allowed? No. Obviously not, Rossi. Are you shitting me? Are you both shitting and pissing me? We all know that the only manly... Come, it's almost like... It's almost like I have to, to, to educate everyone on the on, online. There's only one manly way to beat enemies. It is with a big ass sword with muscles. Melee combat. Have you none of you seen Conan the Barbarian? Gosh! You're just embarrassing yourselves, really. Bows. The only way a bow would be allowed is if you could put the greatsword instead of an arrow and just like swing it back. That, yes. But that's the only exception. Are bows allowed? I'm I'm of a mind to just turn off the stream. <laughs> I'm sorry, Rossi, it's fine. It's all a bit. Level up. Give me that strength. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'll go as far as I need to. With a much strength only. I will pummel everyone to the ground using nothing but my biceps. My bulging bastardly biceps. Can I finally go Yep, I can I can. What's what over there? What's over there though? I if you could fire a spear with a bow, is it allowed? Only if the spear looks heavy. <laughs> Only if the spear is made out of, uh, is in the shape of a penis, then yes. And it has to be an erect penis. So what's the point of me going all the way up here? Oh, it's just, just a big seat. That, that chair has, oh, it's a sundial. I thought that was a chair. Because if it's that, if that's a chair, that spike is going to be slightly uncomfortable for someone.
Flaccid not accepted? No. Obviously not. However, you can have a flaccid penis shaped uh, morning star. But as long as the tip of it is uh, super heavy and huge. The three sisters. Is Alex around? So, he said that the girl was almost directly to the west, so I'm gonna assume that she's probably over there. F hot forearmed girl. I've been through this massive quest just to fight, just to find hot forearmed girl. Instead, I found a dragon. Oh well, what you gonna do? Hey, dragon. Hey, buddy. Adula did not enjoy that. Hit him on the taint. What you gonna do? Oh. It's an intelligence dragon. I must put it down. It is an abomination. This dragon needs to... needs... I'm doing this for mercy. Ooh, nice, nice try, buddy. Come back here. Oh, he vanished. He went into the shadow realm again. Don't you just hate when that happens? So, what do you think? Is Elden Ring easier than the Dark Souls series? That is a question that just broke my brain. Oh, the dragon really did go to the Shadow Realm. Where is he? I don't consider... I don't really actually consider Dark Souls that difficult, to be honest. Like, the most difficult of, of them all, I think, was Bloodborne. And even that's like... I also had a hard time with Sekiro, but that's just because I need to get used to a different mechanic. After you get used to it, it pretty much just falls in line. The reason why this game would be considered harder, it's because it's less linear. So it, it quite often happens that... Where the fuck is the dragon? So it quite often happens that you go into an area that is super high level, but because you're trained in Dark Souls stubbornness, you try and like test yourself against those higher level enemies. But I wouldn't consider... I wouldn't say that's harder. Okay, I wouldn't say that that's harder. I would just say that... Um, I would just say that there's more room for you to, to challenge because enemies get more HP sponges depending on the level that you're in. Where the fuck is the dragon? I really lost a bitch. Dragon? 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 I'm sorry I called you a stupid nerd. I mean, you are a stupid nerd, but I don't know where you are. I didn't mean for you to go away. Squirrel, can you tell me where the dragon is? Can you tell me where the dragon is or not? Squirrel! You are useless to me. Alright, so let's try this again. I went all the way over here. But yeah, I don't... Uh, saying that one game is harder than another is pretty much like saying... That... One, one type of burger from McDonald's is better than the other. Technically, I guess it can be true, but they're pretty much all on the same brand. Mr. Dragon. Alright, I guess I did scare him off. He went to, he went to his mommy. I beat that dragon that ass so hard he went to his mama. Okay, now according to Alex, the hot forearm lady has to be here. Oh no, that's a wolf. Those are all wolves. Rennie's Rise! I think Alex did mention this place. And Alex isn't around. Someone, someone sent Alex a message. 
My quest is at an end, and that boy just ran away. I guess he was the dragon. I thought you said hot forearm lady. No, a hot forearmed lady. I'm sorry. I slur. I have horrible diction. Oh, she enjoys her little rock collection. She really likes rocks. Good for her. Rani! I'm home! Rani? Miss for, for, Hot Forearmed Lady? I'm gonna touch Grace now. Are you around? Buddy? Are you up here? Are you up in your little tower? I hear a lot of rats. Do you want me to call the exterminator, Ronnie? Ronnie? Are you in your tower? Are you enjoying the view? The foggy morning view? Fucking hell, Ronnie. How much high do you need to be? There she is. Yeah, I've met her before. I've met her before. Good fortune ahead. She's Gandalf the the babe. Yeah, I know. Oh, again we cross paths. Why does every girl in this game has like a lazy eye or something? I'm having a mental breakdown. Welcome, Alex. Alex, hot forearmed lady. You, you can have a, a mental breakdown in a little bit. We finished our quest. Uh, no particular reason. As you can see, she has four, four arms, four hands. Now enter into my service. I am the witch Rani. I stole death long ago. It's interesting I because I intend to beat death path. using my heart, my awesome biceps. I can't take this shit anymore. What's going on, Alex? Damn. Well, has that roused well, thy interest? Share, share with the community. I shall serve Rani the witch. You're a beautiful waifu with a lazy eye. So do you, do you want to give me a mission or anything, or are you just gonna sit sit here on your tower? Good. Then I ask we proceed with haste. There is in my service a half woven warrior by the name of Bly. I think I know this guy. Join him in searching for the hidden treasure of Nokron, the Eternal City. I have called for Blythe to greet thee below. Take oh boy. the particulars. Ah, and there wilt thou find E.G. Wait, she really has four arms, yeah. Counselor. And Salavis, preceptor in the sorcerous arts also. Heed not their peculiarities. Feel secure in gaining from them. I am sure the others... Alright, so. That's, that's, uh, I'm gonna... I can't take this shit anymore. The entire fucking time, all I do is be a burden to people. My mom's stressed the fuck out and my dad's not paying for shit. And all that gets dumped on me. See, that's just n not fair. So how can you... You obviously can't change how you feel, but clearly, if it is dumped on you, it feels like you don't have much of a choice. So why feel like a burden? You feel like a burden because it's what you feel, but... Uh, you, it's like... It's like being angry. It's like being angry at yourself for getting a, a bad deck of cards. I can't handle the pressure anymore. There's like so much to it. This is like the culmination of the least of the last like five or six years of my life because they're paying for my shit, of course. But if they're making you feel like shit, it's that that really isn't fair on their behalf. I would just consider, you know, you just try and do the best you can do. And by that I don't mean like uh, burn yourself out or try to appease everyone. Just go through school, look for a job, just strive to be a, a decent human being. If you do that, that's a success all in itself. 
most people can't achieve that it's that simple fact to just be a good to be a good person in time and obviously the question is always time you just need more time and you feel like you're you're oh hey buddy you're feeling like you're running out of it are you feeling like you're stressed all the time but all i can say is for you to trust me and to say if you give it more time just two three four more years and you realize that all those weights are, sl are slowly gonna dissipate or at least feel lighter that's all that's all the thing i can do to help you buddy that's all, all i can say just hold in hang in there because uh because i can't be certain my mom or my dad's telling the truth and i've already potentially fucked up once i can't afford to do it again just work on yourself man work on your school projects look on like getting a job for yourself looking look on building yourself as a good human being if you if you achieve that and i think you can you have all the right mindset to achieve that you will you it will be worth it but of course there's a lot of stress there's a lot of pressure there's a lot of a lot of naysaying towards you and you have to be incredibly mentally strong to to survive another two four three year two three four years but I just hope that you can. I hope that you can find that endurance because you're going the right path, buddy. I can't talk to either of my parents without being guilted into coaxing the other. See? Just focus on you being you, man. I, I would say that's kind of lame on your parents to do that, but, you know, that happens when in divorce. I know that your parents are separated, so... To them, it's, it all... They've got through so much shit in their life that it's all become this question of uh, of teams. It's your it's your mom's team versus your dad team, and and your life is more important than that. You should be above that. I know it's gonna be hard. I just hope that you can do it, dude. I can't when every five minutes I'm being reminded that everyone in my life is fucked because of me. I'm responsible for all of that. No, you're not. You're being reminded of it, but you're not. Just, you're, you're, as far as I'm concerned, from our small interactions on Twitch, you have a more stable head on your shoulders than 99% of the people I know of your age, including myself. So, you have been dealt a shitty hand of cards, without a doubt. Still, I would urge you to try and keep doing what you're doing. Like, all the ghosts have come out to party. To tr Just try and build yourself as a... Like, try and build yourself so that you can have a good career, a good life, a good job. And I know it's, it's very easy to naysay and say, Oh, in Portugal's climate, it's impossible to get a good job. Well, little baby steps. Just think, uh, think on the next step to take. You'll get there, buddy. You really will. All I can say, all, I can promise you that. You have what it takes. I can't leave. I guess I have to speak with assholes first. I don't know what to do, dude. My Like, my mom has a point. She's putting up all the money and my dad barely pays child support. I don't know where he's spending his money. But I can't get myself to talk to them. It's not about that. I can't just sweep everything under the rug. I don't know, man. It's complicated. I don't know what it is the mistress sees in a provincial tarnished like you. Getting a part-time job wouldn't be a bad idea, though. I don't know if, if a remote work somewhere. Maybe. It'll help you. It would help with some of the monetary strains. And if it's part-time, it wouldn't really weigh too much on your school, or in your personal projects, or in your free time. It might even give you some uh, semblance of, of purpose, which I think you've struggled with in the past. So maybe getting like a part-time job might, uh, might be worth it. There's a lot of intern jobs that do have like a, a pay to them. And it would be really good for your curriculum as well. But I wouldn't change shit because my mom's just going to constantly remind me that my dad should be paying all of that. That doesn't matter to you. That's not your problem. What I'm about to say is kind of ruthless, but who gives a shit? Like, if you're doing your part to help the family, good. You're doing more than you should as a kid, by the way. You're a child, not their parents. And it sucks that you, 
it sucks that you're, they're forcing some sort of responsibility on you that you shouldn't have. And it's straining, it's draining your mental and your energies. But the most you can do if you want to help, really, is just get like a part-time paying job. Like where you get, hopefully, like 400 bucks a month. And that's already huge help. With that money, you should be able to, like, to pay for your end of, the, of, of everything. I don't think it'd be that hard to get it. You seem to be like a bright kid. And a part-time job would be like, what, four hours a day? Or maybe like a, a total of like 24 hours a, a week? Maybe. If I tell her that, she won't let me. And she's threatening to sue, but fuck, I don't know. Uh, whatever. She, I assume she's not trying to threaten to sue you. But I wouldn't change shit because my mom's just going to constantly remind me that my dad should be paying all that. that uh, that's not your fault. If I tell her that, she won't let me. Oh, sorry, you live in the neighborhood, buddy? Yeah, I was about to say, Alex, you are 18. You don't, you don't actually need your mom to, to let you do anything. It starts to reach a point where she either accepts your help or, uh, or that she, she needs to stop complaining about it. Yeah, okay, very good. Are we done here? You guys are gonna still... Can I can I go through the barrier now? No? I'm stuck! They won't let me go! And it won't solve much. She's still gonna sue, probably. Well, that again, that's her problem. Don't... Cons I, I'm not saying concern yourself. It's like, uh, focus on you, man. Build yourself up. What your parents are gonna do is is beyond your control. It's like they're grown-up people. You're the kid. They're the parents. Let them be adults. If that's the is that, if that's what they want to do, let us go let them. Some House of the Dragon shit going let there. Bitch, can I like, can I get out of here? What do what do you guys want from me? Probably. Talk to the witch. I, th I thought I did, but apparently I need to talk more. These people are a bunch of talkers, aren't they? They love to, they love to talk, but they also like to tease me into. I have more important things to say, and you're not gonna be able to leave until I say them. But I'm not going to say unless you prompt me. Fucking passive aggressive, ain't they? I can't not worry about them because I don't want my dad to get financially fucked further, and I don't want my mom to get financially fucked as well. Again, uh, those are very noble points, Alex, but they're the adults. Let them deal with that amongst themselves. Do not work as a moderator. It's just going to stress you the fuck out. Just let them do. Focus on yourself. I, I mean it. Like if you, get, if you can find like a part-time job, even if a 200 euro paying job, that will help so much. And you just be like putting that money on your own bank account. So that you can have, can further your education, so that you can, you can get more work experience, so that you can help your sister out, so that your sister doesn't go through the same thing you're going through. Like those small, just you're 18, you're allowed to, like, to do adult things as well. Ah, I shall soon, end. and it will be some time before I wake. Ah, sleepy bitch, ain't you? That's all you wanted to say? That you were going to bed? This bitch didn't let me leave her stupid castle because she needed to say that she was going to nap time? Fuck! <sighs> yeah, now I can go. And then my sister's mental health is going to deteriorate further. Well, that I do would suggest that you, like, try and uh, look out for her. But don't concern yourself about your parents. Let them do their 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 parenting things. And it's all a mess, and I can't do anything without like 40 things fucking up. Well, that is just perception because of the stress. It is quite often when, when you are in shit's creek, you focus more on the negatives than on... Hey, wolvesies. You focus on all the horrible things that have happened instead of all the things that are good. That kind of reminds me of a boss that I had in uh, Jotayan. Like, 
each time I did, I did, I did animations for my workplace, for my newspaper workplace. I worked on the online and I made an animation that, had, that was the most viewed animation of the site. I do illustrations that are... My illustrations went to the fucking president of the Republic. The president of the Republic of Portugal has an illustration of mine, like on his bathroom stall or whatever. And during all that shit, I never got a good job. However, one time when I made a mistake doing a, a, a weather chart, like I said tomorrow, Wednesday, when it was supposed to be tomorrow, Thursday. And that was the mistake I made. I made. I mistaken like the day of the week, and the fucking president of Jotan went down. This is unacceptable. This is completely unacceptable. What are we, amateurs? You big dumb bitch. Like, and that when you people would just rub your face on the shit you make instead of uh, hyping the good work that you that you are capable of. Of course, that you're gonna feel depressed and down and and completely worth feeling worthless. But you are not any of that. You are not. Uh, yeah, but I'm entirely reliant on their support. Look, dude, I don't know what to do, but I need to talk to my dad because I'm gonna fucking implode if he doesn't actually go and talk with... Well... You do you, buddy. That boss sucks. He did. He did suck. That was all... That sort of... But that sort of... The mentality in workplace is very common. Quite, it happens quite often. Maybe not as bad as this guy. Who This guy was an alpha male, toxic boss who only cared about results. Uh, but there's a lot of bosses that are sort of like that. They don't care about the good stuff. They just want the, the machine to keep going. They only, their only concern is uh, f that things don't break. And as soon as something breaks, they, they lose their fucking shit. There's a lot of, like, the whole world is stressed because of people like that. And there's a lot of people like that. So finding, like, a good boss that knows how to hype you up or knows how to build, sorry, that knows how to build you is so hard. But yeah, this, those people should extinct. Rossi, Rossi, my boy, you're you're two thousand percent right. <laughs> I think what you wrote on YouTube got censored, but it showed up on the stream anyway. Yeah, I think you said something that kind of kind of sounded a uh, kind of sounded a bit, uh, let's say, uh, something Hitler would would probably would also say what you just say. <laughs> but I understand your meaning. I know that you're not trying to be xenophobic or anything. Where am I going? No, oh, this isn't the way, actually. Yeah, alright. What time is it, actually? Oh. Oh. I guess I... No horsey from now on. Another legacy dungeon. But yeah, the whole... Part of the reason... I, I, I'm very grateful with the job I have in Journal Antisias. There are really... It's a, it's a really... My job is a fucking peach. I work the hours I want. I work from home now. Uh, I have huge liberty to do whatever I want. And my paycheck isn't half bad. It's above average. Uh, however, I'm, I'm slowly getting saturated. You only got one ultra... You only got one ultra large huge sword. Yeah, that's the Seth. That, like, my heavy greatsword plus eight... I call it family. This sword has been with me in Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 2, and I would have gotten in Dark Souls 1 as well if I knew it existed then. So I'm gonna stick with this sword. But as I was saying, like I enjoy my workplace. I think I have a lot of benefits from it. However, one thing that is annoying is that everyone there is like... Everyone works afraid of the mistake. It's like I have a bunch of... Like all the people there are like a bunch of dogs with their tail between their legs. Like, I, when I do work, they don't care about the good quality of the work. They only care that there isn't a mistake with it. And if there's a mistake, they immediately look for someone to blame. Like, oh, there's a... Uh, I, I show them a graphic. Oh, there's a mistake in this graphic. It's your fault. I didn't put this on the, on the email I sent you. Dude, okay, it is my fault. Well, let's fix it. Like, there isn't a mentality to fix something that's broken. It's just... There's only a mentality to push away the blame. And that shit is... It's... Let's just say it's very prevalent in the world of... Of, you know, in the work world. Hey, buddy, I see you. Don't try and pretend that you were asleep. Alex also said something. God, I fucking need therapy. <laughs> That's probably not wrong. <gasps> I'm in Dark Souls 3 DLC. Praise their tree. It's beautiful. 
Hey, buddy, you enjoying the earth tree? You're sitting on your di on your uh, diarrhea, uh, in your bloody diarrhea. Are you okay, buddy? Buddy? No, he's having a bad day. No, he's also having a bad day. I'm just gonna let him be. Sometimes a dude just needs to fucking rest on the on the ledge, whilst looking at his own shoes, feeling a little bit sorry for yourself. Don't get don't don't let the feeling sorry for yourself, uh, thing. Get over you. Only allow f to feel a little bit sorry for yourself and get back to work, buddy. Ah, another touch of grace. Ah! Gosh damn it, woman. You're gonna speak gibberish again, aren't you? You're welcome. I didn't even know you wanted that. So you'll stop. The accord is fulfilled. Right, right, peace, bitch. Shall depart to ascertain the purpose I was given. Good for you. Farewell. I shall leave Torrent and the power to turn wounds into strength here with you. Thanks, um, uh... in realizing your ambition. Okay, I've Oh god, she's a talker. Thanks, buddy. Can you... Peace. Good. Go, like... Assault the pantries or whatever you want to do. <sighs> Thank God. I don't even know who, what her name was. I think it started with a, with a W or something. I think, or I think her name was Woman. That's what I called her anyway. Dude. You are adorable. Oh, you're a lady? You're just a giant testicle. Why is why am I under the shadow? What's moving on top of me? Um That's also a weird Vuvuzel you have there. You know what? Do do you girl. You guys you see you guys seem to be having fun. Oh Ah Sorry, I have to kill you, testicle lady. I did not enjoy that. I let everything live unless they start to piss me off. What you gonna do? No! Stop it! Stop your weird ball magic. You look like some sort of weird Chinese dish. And your music sucks. What are you doing? God, their music does suck. What the hell? Are you okay, buddy? You need to work on your jazz. Okay, easy there. Ah! Just keep beating this bitch up. The weird Maroshka dolls they have here. You know those Russian dolls where you open up and there's a smaller one inside? Oh, and they have white blood. Mm, I hope it's blood. I'd hate to know what those dolls are filled with. Golden rune. <gasps> what the fuck is that? Yeah, know them. <laughs> Uh, that seems like something that's gonna be annoying to me. Well, might as well get it going. Hey, buddy. Well done. Way to go, Igor. Oh, I just- I just fucked him up. I just destroyed him. I kind of feel bad now. I feel like I got a bit too overpowered for such a pathetic little boy. The dude was just minding his own business, playing with fire. And there she goes. Look at them. With the grace of God. Spin. Spin. It's like a sentient garlic clove. Ah! Sir. Back off. 
Assassins! Yeah, way to go there, Musketeer. Smithing Stone 4. I want Smithing Stones 3. Okay, I'm desperate. Rossi, you seem like you know your way around this game. Where can I find fucking Smithing Stones level 3? Which, am I to... Did I skip that? I went from Smithing Stones 2 to 4. Oh, there she goes. Is, like, is there like an area where the smithing stones 3 are prevalent or something? Hey, buddy. Lake of Liorania. Oh, you mean this area here? I guess I didn't explore this area really well. There's a whole section that I just ignored. I should go back to it then. What time is it? I, don't know. I might do it on my uh, free time. Uh, you guys don't need to see me grind. Okay, lady. You stop playing with your little butt trumpets. How would they, why would they, why would anyone use you as like a guard or something? You are hilariously pathetic. Or you could buy them in Roundhall Tip. Really? I looked for them there. I didn't see anyone selling them. But I am quite blind. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Ow. Shit, that actually hurt. Get away from me. Big smash. Okay, this place is a fucking maze, ain't it? Yes, I see where I need to go. Is this an elevator? Oh, it is. You should get the bell bearing first. I suppose I have to go back. By that, you mean I should go back. Alright. <gasps> is this... No, it's just cave moss. I just ripped moss outside of that guy's corpse. I'll be honest, this area... God, these guys are so good at just designing areas, aren't they? This is just like a, a little room they f they furnished full of plants and tables. But it looks fucking gorgeous, isn't it? You should get the bell bearing first, it's outside the capital. I was talking about Smithing Stone 3. Oh. The bell bearing first, it's outside the capital. Oh, so it's okay, somewhere around here? Is it by the tree? All right, and let's uh, let's go to the outer wall battleground then. Let's go by the tree. Yeah. Okay. Good. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a path here uh, along the wall. It's in the cave down. Oh, you mean this little hole here? Hit <laughs> hole. In the lake west of the capital. You mean over here, right? I suppose it does. I've always wondered what those holes are for. I suppose they mean that they're caves. I haven't gone down there yet. I'll go afterwards. However, I do want to go to the tree first. I haven't beaten the tree bitch yet. Uh, sorry, I missed a bunch of stuff. So that's... So that's that averted. Okay, so. I managed to hide the fact that I was obviously crying at the lunch table. <laughs> Alex. Dude, I just want to give you, like, a big bro hug. So that's that averted. Well done. <laughs> well done, Alex. Bottle your feelings. Yes, that's the manly thing to do. Show them that you are strong. Ah! Lost smoke monster! Hey, buddy. Ow. Fuck me, I can't hit these guys for a... These skeleton boys are being quite a hassle. Shit, they're actually kind of tough. No, they're not.
Stop it. Stop it. I don't... Ah! Armand, get away from me. Or whatever the storm's name is in Portugal. Get down from the... Shit. Fuck. Back off. There. We're done. And I was reflecting on what you said. I said a lot of bullshit. Which part? <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, he did. Whee! Back. And stay down. I said stay down. Sir? Damn it. There he goes again. The reverse vacuum attack. Shit, I keep forgetting to kill that guy. No, you don't. Come on, one more. There you go. Shit, you got back up. He's running. The coward. I'm coming after you, you bitch. One more hit. There you go. No, don't you dare. He didn't. Another one bites the dust. Job's done. Where was I? Alex says, and I can't help but feel selfish for wanting to reap all the benefits of having people pay for my shit, but, but not helping solve the issues. I mean, that's not being selfish, that's just being a kid. <laughs> it's not being a kid. Also, that sounds like I'm belittling you. It's, it's not. It's just that that's how most households work. Like, the parents... They, they look out for the kid. A winged crystal tear. Deathbird. I'll be honest. You don't look like a boss. You look like something that deserves pity. Fuck. He is kind of hard though. You got me. Get your fucking little weird... Testicle... Balls, skulls away from me. He has a bit of a reach, doesn't he? Fuck me! I'll be right with you. This boss fight is legitimately seems to be hard because he's a fucking fucking HP sponge, ain't he? Oh! Careful. No, he got my horse. I might be in trouble now. Yes. No, I knew it. Fucking hell, man. That fucking prompt kills me every single time. I summon a fucking horse and it goes like, Are you sure? It might cost a crimson tear. I don't give a shit. Just give me my horse. I uh, can't help but feel like selfish. Okay. Um... I don't think you should. You shouldn't feel like selfish for for wanting to, you know, reap the benefits of, you know, of uh, of being a, of being the the son of your of your mother. I'm not a kid anymore. I mean, you're not because you're 18, so you're basically an adult. But you're still, you're still like learning stuff. You're still like most people I know who are most people I know are like um, 30 r borderline on 40 still live with their parents just because it helps them like in Portugal you basically have to do that if you want to one day own your own house you have to live with your with your parents and like work and save money that way save money on rent save money on food save money on clothes so in that way, uh, you and save, save money on furniture. That way, you you. That way, you can, uh, you know, you can one day buy your own house, make your own family. That's how people do it. 
So, being 18 and not going immediately to work is is normal for Portugal. Granted, like if you're in Scandinavia, if you're 18, immediately they just toss you into the wolves. Go to the workforce, Bjork. It is your turn to provide for the family. But they also have like jobs for 18 year olds where they pay significantly well. We don't have that luxury, unfortunately. So yeah, you're not a kid anymore, but still, um, it's it's reasonable hey, that uh, you would want a little bit of. Uh, I'm confused. Did I already pick up my souls? Oh, I did. Hey, buddy. But it makes sense that you just want to, you know, enjoy a bit of. Fuck me! Nope! Stop! I take it back! You guys are fucking cruel monsters! It makes sense that you want to take advantage of the fact that you don't have real grown-up responsibilities. Like taxes, rent, and a uh, day job. It's beautiful. Listen, I fought against... Barnacle dude, you need to chill the fuck out! Dude, he's as nimble as Jack Black, you see that shit? Way to go. Stop getting... I'm not in Israel, or I'm not in Iran, stop stoning me. And I'm also not a woman. Back. Off. You. Dump. Mm. I'll be right with you in a second again. I have to escape being stoned. There you go. Where was I? And now it's... And, and, and I know it sounds really corny, but I'm legally an adult and my mom can't do anything to make anyone pay for my shit and it falls on me now. Yeah, that's kind of what I was telling you. And like getting a part-time job, I didn't get a part-time job when I was 18, and I kind of regret it. Because I too felt that, I felt exactly the same way you're feeling. Like, oh, dude, I want to be a kid a little bit more. I want to just like have fun, not have those, those responsibilities weigh in on me. But uh, looking back, I kind of regret not getting into like, especially because we were both in a designy sort of world. There's a lot of like low paying jobs. Or a lot of designed opportunity jobs for you out there if you if you look like for the right company. And uh, and getting that experience is invaluable. Getting your first like uh, like commissions is also pretty gosh darn good. And if you're doing something that you really enjoy, you might just get paid for doing something you like. And then it helps with your with your burdens and shit. At least it would be worth testing it out, seeing what, what's out there. If how much how much work it actually costs you. I don't know. So this was so in this earth tree you didn't have a big weird boss dude, he just had a fat boy. Fat boy and his boy band. And his stoning Iranian uh, Iranian boy band. Did I just defeat the dictator of Iran over there? Or women free now that I kill that fat get fat bastard? I assume they they are. You're welcome, Iran. The revolution has ended. No, you don't need to call me a hero. Just because I killed that fat bastard. This man represents the dictatorship of Iran. He's as gorgeous as him as well. Oh, did I decapitate him? Fuck, I'm... S oof. He's a eunuch, he has no balls. He's covered in blisters. He's a fat fuck. And he's covered in boys that really just just do everything he tells them to do. That's it's a perfect allegory. I don't know, man. Like, at the end of the day, I should be paying for this shit myself. No. You can be paying for that shit yourself. It's like I said, most households, the like people don't leave their parents' household, in Portugal at least, for until like in their in their late thirties. Because they're just saving money that way. But, uh, yeah, you can, you know, you can try and help. And I don't think it would be that 
big of a hassle for... Oh, wait, these assholes again, right? Isn't there, like, Archer Twiddledee and Twiddledum around here somewhere? Oh, no, it's just him. I want to kill the bird asshole. Ow! Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to have pissed you off. Fine. Fine. I'm just gonna get my souls. I'm gonna beat bird asshole. And I think I might call it quits for today, actually, because it, I'm getting a bit short on time. Where am I? Okay. Hey, dudes! High five! Oh. That's right, I did it. You don't use a sword for high fives. That's a high sword. That's a very Tukaram uh, barbarian uh, culture. Dude, I just want my souls, and I'm gonna leave you. You can keep plowing the land as you see fit. I need to talk to my dad. I just need to find a good way of doing it. Well, it is obviously your life, and you clearly know best in how to deal with the situations of your household, of, of your family. So, I was just trying to help any way I knew how. I was... But mostly I just talk shit anyway. So the bird asshole has got to be up there, right? Yeah, I know. Come on, come on, don't make me go the long way around. Perfect, first try. Now, before I fight bird asshole... Ah. Wasn't the fight over here? There's a touch of grace over there. Yeah, I'm gonna use that first. Thanks, man. I need to calm down. Well, if that, if that's the only thing I can do, I'm more than happy to do it. Just to be a little uh, a little buffer. A little reprieve. So I'm glad that at least, you know, we got some yucks in and some laughs and some, uh, some bro talk. Hermit Merchant Shack. Hey, dude. What do you got to sell? I don't know why I keep speaking with you. Every single time I speak to any of you, you guys are always shit. No, oh, wasn't the bird dude that I was fighting you around here somewhere? I could swear he was. I'm gonna talk to... M oh, I already said that. I need, I'm gonna talk to my dad soon and, and get them to talk about it. Kinda get it off my shoulders for a bit. Well, good l I hope it turns out for the best. I really do. Bird boy? Do I need to kill the skeletons first? Bird boy? Birdus Humongous. Was it over here? I feel like it was over here. Mm, yeah, it was over here. And then... Bird Boy! Stop it! Fuck! Fuck! Stupid snakes! Okay, you know what? I thought there was a... Fuck me, Jesus Christ! Help! These guys are no joke! Ah! Why did it have to be snakes? Ow. Easy, first try. 
But where's the bird asshole? Do I need to go through here? Ow. Shit, missed. So I went through your little threshold. Do I need to kill your boyfriend here as well? Fuck me. Bad skeleton. You're next, and you know you're next. You should have just ran. You had so much to live for. Oh, I missed. Die. You have a stupid little hat. A little farmer's hat. And why do you even have that? You don't have eyes nor a scalp to burn on the sun. Or you're afraid that your bones will get... What? Dusty? Pick up an item. So, are we done here? Weird bird thing? I know I picked up an item here, and then the monster appeared. Is it like a one-time spawn or something? Interesting. I'm certain it was over here. Is the bird being shy? Oh, I thought that was actually a an NPC I could talk to. Birdie? Friend? Anyone? Weird fetus bird? Not gonna lie, these guys kind of hurt. I'm dead. No, I'm not. I'm alive. Back off. What am I doing with my life? I'm just going around in the in the graveyard chasing snakes. Sn snake snails with skulls as their carapaces. Carapaces or the home. I don't even know. This is just weird, bizarre. I'm ch I'm looking for a bird fetus that is undead and kind of grumpy about it. But the bird fetus refuses to come out to play. No, back off, you weirdo. I suppose I have to kill all the things first. Well, you're next. Bad skull! Bad snake! You weird creepy thing! You shoot baby faces at me. I know I was here that I fought the dude. Golden rune. <gasps> Ambush! Ninjas! Another one bites the dust. Oh, this one has a shield. Look at him, Mr. Important. Uh, no, he died. He died quicker than the rest. He was even more pathetic. He was weighed down by the shield. Come on. How'd that go for ya? Huh? So, about this ambush thing we're, that we're doing here. Are we quite done? <sighs> C 
Come on. Weird bird. I know I fought you here. I know it. I recognize this area. I've seen the code. I guess he doesn't show up. It's a one-time boss, really. I have a hard time believing that, but apparently it is. Well, I just wasted everyone's time, but most importantly of all, I wasted my own. Hmm. A shocking shame. Well... Why was- why was I told to go into the cave? I don't know, but I'm going. Capital outskirts. Wasn't Rossi telling me that there's something here? Smithing stones. Oh yeah, the bell bearing. Okay, I got it. I got it. Hey, wolf! Get up, you slackers! Get to work! Damn, this alpha wolf can sure can fly. Damn, these dogs can fly. They can't attack with a damn though. What's this? What's here? Ah, uh, just some grease. Damn it. I don't want to rinse out a holy person to get some holy grease. I feel like I should be going down here. Oh, probably not. Hmm. <gasps> Pot boys. You okay, buddy? Yeah, it's another t rough morning, huh? Lovely flowers, though. How did you get the petals so big? Dude, anything, anything I tried to uh, water in my house just ends up dying. Minor Earth Tree Church. It's so small. Uh, missionary's cookbook. Nice. Stale recipes. Boiled potato. Hey, buddy. A golden order seal. I don't know what that means. But, but what am I supposed to do with that? Is it like a stamp? I, I have no idea. Genuinely, I don't. I don't even know where it is in my inventory. I... Mm. I feel like it should be here, but it's not. Eh, it's probably not important. Oh wait, there it is. It's a weapon? Okay. That's not a weapon I'm gonna use. A golden centipede. Time to rest. I would like to level up only a little bit. Oh, I'm almost, I'm almost there. You know what that means. Time for some more of that beautiful strength, baby! I need like 28,000, right? That's not nearly enough. Inventory! Let me just fuck me up with these. That should be enough. There it is. Oh yeah, that's it. That's, that's gonna get me over the edge. Level up, baby! Give me that strength. Oh, I'm so strong. Fuck, I'm strong. But I'm not strong enough. I need to just have that little bit of oomph left. That little bit of a mmm, if you know what I'm saying. That, th that hip thrusting hmm. <clears throat> That's what I want. Hey, 
Is there a way to go down from here without immediately getting shit-faced dead? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, I see. I, I think I see the path. Fair enough. Run, little boy, run. See, this is what I like about Elden Ring. I just spent a, an entire day not progressing a fucking inch, and I just had a blast anyway, just going through my own adventures. <gasps> Sentient Gistains! I happen to know for a fact if you kill a Gistain, you gain its power. Where are you? Ah! Gross. Oh, at least they're easy to kill. Justine, come back here! Damn, I missed. I must, I must discover his its pattern. Come here. Shit. Shit. It got through me. Okay, but it's gonna walk through here. All I need to do is wait. It will fall into my trap sooner or rather than later. They'll come. They always come. Ah, yes. Gotcha, bitch! Pray full strike. What a waste of fucking time. A strip of white flesh. Onto the hole! I was told that there would be a smithing stones level 3 over here. Eh. Eh. I'll have to take that off my map then. There you go. Time for adventure. What time is it? Oh, it's almost 2 p.m. I guess I can just go far enough until I find a touch of grace, which is immediately. Hello, little hole. Mmm, it's warm and sticky. But mostly warm. Is this just a hole? Where am I supposed to go? I, I came from there, didn't I? Secret door? I knew it. I knew it all along. You need to wake up pretty early in the morning to fool me with these. A sealed tunnel. Slacker? While your friends are working, you're just sitting here, resting? They're pretty tough. These dudes are pretty tough. Hey, buddy. Big smack across the face. Oh, there's my alarm. And I also, I'm in desperate need of peeing. I was hoping to at least find one stone. God, I, I completely destroy these poor fools. They don't stand a chance. Smithing stone five, damn. Oh, now I get it. Back, I say! Can I get this? Cracked crystal, damn it. I want smithing stones, damn you. Smithing stone 5 again. I don't want smithing stones level 5, I want them level 3. I'm getting ahead of myself again. Hey buddy, I see you. Oh, I, I immediately, you immediately got fucked, didn't you? What about over here? A smithing stone miner bells. Be oh, that's what you wanted me to find, Rossi. You should get the bell bearing first. It's outside the capital. 
I don't know what this does, though. What's oh, a bell bearing? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not here. What's a bell bearing for? Help! If you tell me it's also a weapon, I'm gonna. Is it this? Celestial Dew. No, it's not. I can hear the alarm on the background. Smithing stone offered to twin maiden husks for new item access. Oh. Oh, I guess this then unlocks new. Sh uh, I get it. I'm gonna do that then. Shit. I need to fucking get out of this place first. Okay, so. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I'm not leaving yet. I'm back. Because I want to... Shit. Did I fall down and I can't get back up? I have to go f deeper into the mines. Damn it. Unless... No, I got back up. Easy. No problem. Oh, was that... Th that's the only thing that was inside this cave? There's probably some, something... Some other secret hidden here. I should probably return later. But what I want to do... Fuck me, I really need to leave the cave first, don't I? There! I'm on the outside! Happy? Fuck. Uh, the twin... Sisters. I think I know who they are. Round table hold. Hey, no, not you. But hey, girl, looking good. I like your clothes. Hmm. Hmm. Fine looking girl. I think she's my sister, actually, so it's kind of gross. Here, have a ball bearing. Here you go. Do you now have stuff that are that is useful? Yes! Smithing stones level 3. Give me a shit ton of these. Finally. I've been looking so far, so far and wide for that fucking stone. My journey is completed. Hey, you dumb bitch! I bring you some stones. Oh, don't pay me. I just lay out your arms. Something wrong? I don't care. Damn it! I need more souls now. How many do I have? Enough. Let's just use a shit ton. Come on! I want my sword to be a bit more pointier. To be a bit more er erect. To be more of a metaphor to my, uh... To my, uh, a small penis. Strength and armament. Yes! Damn it! I can upgrade even further. Time to use more runes! I'll kill every single one of you if I have to. I don't give a shit. I just want my sword to be... Oh, you have my sword right there. I'm starting to feel like my sword isn't that common. That that uncommon. Every Joe, Jack, and Jill can just, like, have one around. Alright, time to strengthen my armament. Nice. And I can upgrade it even further. Well, you know what that means. Inventory. Let's keep using shit. I don't give a damn. Sir? Make my sword... Damn it, I've run out of... Or did I? How many do I need? I need five more. I'll be right back. I happen to know for a fact that there's a lady nearby that sells me the shit I need. And I still have runes. Oh, uh, we're disgusting uh, circus act. Where are you? Come here. Yes. Oh, she only has four left. Damn it! Oh, does she only have four because I only had money for four? Right, don't worry, I still got something I can use. I'll go into my reserves. I'll sell my house, I'll mortgage my house again. Nice. This should, this should do it. Give me that smithing stone plus f Yes! I'll sell everything. Hey, buddy. I can upgrade my sword further. 
Yes! 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 <laughs> ah! I have achieved Nirvana. I am strong and I have big blade that goes powwow. I must test it out. I must. Let's see how it handles against these bitches. Where's the weird... Everything is golden covered. Oh, there's also a dragon there. Is that a statue of a dragon? Ah, I guess I'll find out soon enough. Hey, girl. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's beautiful. That's, that's, that's exactly how, how it was meant to be played. I wanted it a bit further. I want to. I want to see. I want to see death. Hey, girl. You're next. Hey, dude. Big jump. Oh yeah. Oh, that's good. Hayes Anderson, you murdered the bubble people. They started it. Their music sucks and they keep throwing bubbles at me. Dude, I just upgraded the shit out of my, my sword. And I've just been putting points on string. It's been a good time. Now let's see how I deal against this freak of nature. Oh, two hits and then it's gone. That poor, f that poor circus sack just got destroyed, obliterated. Oh, you, dude, you're next. Two big swings. Oh, he's still alive. You're gonna make me use my rare third swing. I'm a killer. I'm a killer, Hayes. Hayes, I'm a monster. Don't you roll away from me. That's just disrespectful. I just murdered your sisters. Yes. Now I am certain I'm going the right build. Strength only, upgrade my big sword, and smack everything like they owe me money. Mm. Hayes, you're also right on time to see me leave. What are you doing? No, he almost killed me. He's gonna kill me. He killed me. I can't... I don't understand what happened. I think hubris got to me. The power got to my head. I was having so much fun just swinging my dick around. I mean, my sword around. I'm gonna go get my souls and then I'm gonna call it quits. Hayes, thank you for stopping by and thank everyone for watching. I have uh, a nice hefty number of viewers and I appreciate every single one of you. I'll, uh, I'm gonna be uh, taking a time off. Monday and Tuesdays I don't stream, but I'll be back on Wednesday. Now I might do something different. Might not be playing video games. But if you guys are interested, consider maybe following um, following me on Twitch or on YouTube. I also put videos, uh, videos up on YouTube. Uh, or you can just join me on Discord. Or... Oh my god, I love this. Or you can just, uh, you know, ch uh, join me on uh, Discord, Twitch, Instagram, Twitter. All the links are down below. Also, if you really enjoy the stream and you feel like, you know what, this man deserves some patronage, you can also leave me a small subscription. You get a few emojis uh, as, a, as a thank you. Dude, I hit this guy once and he immediately got knocked back. Mm. Hey, buddy. Okay, you know what, this dude is... I lost all my souls. These guys are no joke. They're, they mean business. I've, I've learned that hubris is my downfall. I've become too powerful and I've become too reckless. I've learned my lesson. But I will have to learn my lesson next time. As of right now, I'll see you boys around. This has been Sev. And again, I'll just reiterate. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, on YouTube, or in Discord. All the links are down below. And if you really enjoyed, you can leave a subscription. Bye-bye. 
big kisses to everyone. Mm.